The life participation approach to aphasia is structured around five core values that serve as guides to assessment, intervention, research, and ongoing care. Here is the second core value. Everyone affected by aphasia is entitled to service. Aphasia is a sudden and tragic event that is life altering for the individual with aphasia as well as for family and loved ones. People with aphasia live in a world of relationships, spouses, parents, friends, coworkers, and neighbors. Although many hospitals run aphasia support groups for loved ones, emotional support is not enough. Family members and care partners need to learn new strategies to communicate with a person who struggles with aphasia. Addressing this need, the life participation approach knows for success to occur, everyone affected by aphasia is entitled to service. Otherwise, people with aphasia are often left out of daily conversations. This is devastating for everyone in their world. There are ways to help, but the people with aphasia cannot make the necessary changes alone. Everyone around them needs to learn to communicate differently. Let's look at some of the experiences that people with aphasia and their loved ones have shared with us. Um, I see, see it in my grandchildren. Uh, they uh, try to understand my aphasia, but sometimes uh, it gets in the way uh, uh, my wife, um, sometimes she and I argue because uh, uh, she thinks I'm saying one thing and I'm actually saying another. Uh, because people think you can't think. You know, they don't think you understand what's going on, but we do. One of the themes that emerges when you talk to people who have aphasia is the importance of others understanding that they have a communication problem. Ensuring that others know the person with aphasia is still intelligent and capable of thinking clearly. This is a key component in educating family and friends so that they will encourage a full range of conversation about complex topics and daily life issues. It's helped me to understand that although his ability to communicate to me through verbal speech is no longer there, there's nothing wrong with his thought process in his mind. And that he still wants to make decisions. We just need to communicate to him in a different way so that he can make those decisions and be involved in his daily care and da daily activities and things that are going on with him personally. Are you still smart, George? Go. Yep. Let it go. Let it up. Let it go. Give it a 10. No. <laughs> a life participation approach can inform all stages of aphasia intervention, beginning with the emergency response, through the hospitalization, and continuing into the community after they go home. People who have aphasia in their families tell us that supportive, aphasia-friendly community programming is so very valuable to them. Let's let them tell us how it helps. The aphasia center has been such a nice place to go. It's so positive. And for a place that caters to people that struggle to express themselves, there is so much communicating going on. It's nice to have a place where your disability is not the focus. Instead, it's you that are the focus. You, you can get, um, get to uh, express yourself more frequently than uh, out in the public. And uh, I love this place. Boy, uh, the, I... I would be dead without heart. Uh, I would be uh, sitting at home in a, 
a room with a television and talking to nobody. It did me wonders. Um, it gave me the confidence to go out and order a beer and um, out to a restaurant and it just gave me confidence. Everyone who interacts with the person who has aphasia is changed by the experience. The person who has aphasia, plus their family, friends, and other social contacts all need education about aphasia and to learn new communication skills. They also need to belong to aphasia-friendly communities where they can meet others, have conversations, and regain the social support that is lost through aphasia. Social isolation and loneliness can lead to many physical and mental health problems. The life participation approach to aphasia therapy seeks to nurture and maintain social relationships for everyone affected by aphasia. Thank you.